My name is Youssef Khalidi. I'm from Microsoft. I'm here to discuss and give you a brief overview of the Windows Azure platform. I'll also pronounce it as Windows Azure. Either way is fine, actually. So what is Windows Azure? It is Microsoft's cloud platform, which enables you to write code in your favorite language on-premises, in your machines, and so forth. And effectively, with a click of a button, be online on the web in no time. It has been available for a year in a technology preview format, and now it's available um, till the end of the year in a, in a, still in a preview format and beyond that in a, as a commercial release. We have announced this week the availability of the, all the software features online as we speak. Let me first give you a brief um, positioning how this fits within the many things that Microsoft does. This slide is a quick summary of, if we will, our overall strategy, which we have been calling software plus services. Software refers to what you probably know about us, stuff we run on, machines, workstations, servers, laptops, and so forth. Effectively, our server software stack, summarized by, on the slide by Windows Server and so forth, plus uh, what you see on the client side, on the PC, on the phone, and the living room through Xbox, Media Center, and so forth. There's a new, if you will, pillar in this picture, and that of the cloud and which is what I'm discussing here today briefly. And that is exemplified by Windows Azure platform and number of services that are available a la carte, optionally. And all of them are available as a, as a pay-per-use pay model. So unlike typical software offerings, which you may want to like, buy or subscribe to and so forth, the cloud offerings are very much a pay-as-you-go model. And of course, the key point to anything we do in this space, they are the developer community. So overall, for all these platforms, you can write code in your favorite languages. You can use .NET, you can do Java, you can use Visual Studio or Eclipse, up to you. So for the rest of this short talk, let me zoom in more about on the Windows Azure piece and what it actually provides. The Windows Azure platform has three big components. The most fundamental the basis of the platform is the Windows Azure box. And when Windows Azure, figuratively speaking, think of it as an operating system for the cloud. It's not literally an OS. It's actually a collection of many, many, many machines with software that virtualizes the whole collection. Basic pillar of the system is that of virtualizing the infrastructure gives you computation. So from a developer perspective, you write code, you ask for resources. It happens. It, 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 Windows Azure brings it to you, gives it to you. So we use visualization technology to divide the machines, of course. This is a so-called scale-out model, uh, also known as a horizontal scaling model, such that your application, your service, if it needs more resources, you need to allocate more and more instances of it. For many web developers, this is very natural, of course. So it's a scale-out architecture, very large scale. Also has fundamentally storage subsystem in there that gives you very, very large blobs, files of data, structured data, and also queues. And as I mentioned, all these facilities are available a la carte. You can actually call them separately and be charged separately for each usage model. And what makes the whole thing really tick is the automated management. So by and large, you don't worry about things like patching software or allocating machine, all the plumbing stuff. We are the plumbers. You write your code, you ask for the thing, and the thing happens for you. So this is the basic Windows Azure platform. We have other elements, other parts of the overall platform that also are available to you as a developer. One, of course, is the SQL Azure piece. If you're familiar with SQL, which is the on-premises database, there's a counterpart service in the cloud. And unlike perhaps other offerings out there on the web, this is not uh, a, a, like an instantiation of SQL that you have to go manage. Instead, as a developer, you ask for a database. You ask for a, a table. When you say, I want a database of this size, it, it's allocated for you. You don't have to worry about managing it, replicating the data, or, or, or all this kind of stuff. It's all very much a service-oriented view. And of course, there are a number of other services mentioned here in the slide as .NET services. 
they include a number of uh, facilities that enable you to write, frankly, a very heavy-duty enterprise software if you want to. For example, you can integrate with on-premises, with IT identity systems. So you can enable single logon scenarios for enterprises, or to connect and punch holes through firewalls and so forth. Now, as I mentioned, a bunch of plumbing and services. What really matters above all of that is the developer. So a key aspect of everything we've been doing is we want to enable the developer to use her or his expertise in writing code that also applies the same for the cloud. So we want to preserve the expertise and investment people have done in their favorite programming language, in their favorite runtimes, and so forth. So having the same developer experience that you can target either in traditional IT systems or the cloud is very important to us. Saying a bit more about development tools, um, these are rich development tools available for Windows Azure, which, again, I encourage many of you, especially developers, to take a look at. These are rich SDK that you can download for free. It includes a full emulation environment, so you can write the code, services, multi-tier, and so forth, and run them in, in effectively very faithful emulation on your machines, local machines. The SDK also has plugins for Visual Studio. We also have plugins for Eclipse, support for PHP, PHP, and SDK for Java as well. So after you write your code, port your code, etc., mix and match as you see fit, you go to a portal. This is the blue screen on, this, on, on the picture at the moment. You go to a portal and you upload your code. You upload your configuration settings, which are basically tell us what you want. You want five of this, ten of this, the topology looks like that, and so forth. You click a button. In minutes, you're on the internet. If you don't want to use a portal, we have a full REST documented APIs. You can script, do it the way you want to with it. And as I mentioned, all of this stuff has been available in subset of it for the last year. As of this week, everything is on the web. Quickly, the value proposition here. I alluded to most of these points. Simplicity is key. Plumbing is our problem. Writing code, adding value to your code is your space. It's very efficient. The cost is very much pay as you go. We charge by CPU hour, mem networking ingress and uh, uh, egress from the data center is free within the data center, the actual transaction for data, and so forth. Agility, it's very agile. If your service becomes very, very popular, you click a button, you can, you can expand it quite a bit. If demand goes down, you click a different button, it goes down. You can, we can respond to your request very, very quickly. And finally, the, the last important point, focused. You get to focus on your space. Again, not on the plumbing, but on writing your application, on meeting your customer needs. A very quick roadmap, lots of information available offline, or online, actually. Uh, as I mentioned, we've been in tech preview for a year. Um, we've been adding features literally monthly. We have marketing events, but in terms of features going online, it's, the rhythm has been very quick. This week at Microsoft's PDC conference, we announced that all the features are available. We announced a full pricing model, the SLA model, the timing, lots of details. And we also have a rich, we have a rich roadmap going forward as well. So, yes, this has been very quickly an overview of the platform. There are a lot of stuff in there. As, as the picture implies, they are focused. The initial focus for the platform has been very much the Web 2.0 programming models, and we are thinking about it. We also have a rich partner community, and also going forward, a focus on the enterprise. So you want to link the whole spectrum of application models and of scenarios in the same platform. Um, for more information, please go to azure.com or microsoft.com slash azure, a bunch of URLs. Lots of information is available. Thank you very much.